The definition of intraocular pressure is the fluid pressure inside the eye. Elevated intraocular pressures can cause damage to the optic nerve, resulting in visual field impairment. However, patients can also develop glaucoma with pressures of less than 22 millimetres of mercury. There are various ways to measure the intraocular pressure. There are non-contact and contact devices. For the purpose of this video, we have decided to focus on Goldman applanation tonometry. This measurement method is known to be more accurate than the non-contact methods, since it is less influenced by other factors such as corneal thickness. The equipment we need are a single-use applanation prism, a Goldman applanation tonometer, local anaesthetic drops with fluorazine, and the Goldman Applanation Tonometer Calibration Kit. To begin with, we are going to show you how to calibrate a Goldman Applanation Tonometer. Mount the Goldman Tonometer on the slit lamp as though you are about to use it. Insert the prism as normal. To check the calibration of the tonometer at the zero millimetres of mercury mark, insert the control weight into the control weight insert Set the measuring drum at the 0 mm Hg mark. Turn the measuring drum forward by the width of one marking. The prism should tilt forward within this range. Turn the measuring drum backwards by the width of one marking and the prism should tilt backwards within this range. Any failure to move within the plus 2 to the minus 2 setting range should be considered as equipment inaccuracy. Once the patient has been called into the area, you should always introduce yourself, check the patient's name and date of birth, which will ensure that you have the correct patient with you. Explain the procedure to the patient and ensure that they understand and take verbal consent. Also, allow time for the patient to ask any questions. Ensure that you wash your hands and clean the equipment in front of the patient so that they are aware that you have done so. In still proximeter K 0.5% and fluorazine 0.25%, one drop to both eyes. Explain to the patient that these drops will numb the eye during the measurement. Dab the eyes with a tissue so that they are not too watery as this can change the Myers ring thickness. Ensure that the eyepiece is set to your own prescription. Place the slit lamp height in proportion to the patient's sitting position and head position by using the level under the slit lamp table and adjust to the acquired position. Ask the patient to come towards the slit lamp with their chin sitting on the rest and their head firmly against the head bar. Ensure the patient's eyes are in line with the black alignment marker. This is important for a precise examination. Turn the slit lamp on by using the on and off switch. Then turn the black knob to the maximum brightness. Turn the knob which is below the light filter tray anti-clockwise to B for the blue light. Ensure that the light is at its brightest by adjusting the illuminating knob at the base of the swinging arm. The blue slit beam light should be shining on the tonometer head from the temporal side. Use the joystick to move the slit lamp backwards, forwards, sideways and up and down. Ask the patient to look straight ahead with their eyes wide open. Move the tonometer gently and slowly towards the patient's cornea until touching the central surface. If patients are having difficulty in keeping their eyes open, you may assist by gently holding their lids. Avoid pressing on the patient's eyeball as this can give a falsely high IOP reading.
Look through the eyepieces until the two fluorescent wires are visible. To ensure a correct reading, the wires should be of the precise width. Turn the measuring knob until the wires are just touching. At this point, you can record the IOP value.